Hi, welcome to TFO History Channel. My name is Catherine Margaret Kruger and I will tell you the story behind the history of Van Hunks and Devil Speak. Get yourself a cup of coffee, sit back and let's start historing around. Now before we get to the story of Van Hunks and the Devil, I firstly want to tell you about the mountain Devil Speak in Afrikaans or Devil Speak in English. Now, Devil Speak forms part of the famous backdrop of Cape Town. Um, firstly, you would get uh, Devil Speak, then Table Mountain, then Lion's Head, and then the body of the lion or Signal Hill. Now, if your back is towards Cape Town Harbour and you're facing Table Mountain, the mountain on the left hand side, that is Devil's Peak. Although this mountain is 1000 meters above sea level, it is still lower than the highest point of Table Mountain. Now Devil's Peak was named a few names by local groups, but before we get to all these names, I want to tell you about the Cape Doctor. Doctor? <laughs> Not a medical doctor, my friend. No, it is the southeasterly wind that is blowing over Cape Town from round about September each year until the end of summer, round about April. This wind would blow over the Cape and it would blow away all pollution and <coughs> all pests <coughs> and <laughs> hopefully all viruses. That's why the locals is calling the wind the Cape Doctor. Now the South Easter or the Cape Doctor blows over False Bay, picking up warm moisture from the ocean and blows it against the backdrop of Table Mountain as well as Devil's Peak. Now the warm air would rise and it would form clouds and it spills over Table Mountain as well as Devil's Peak. Once it actually covers the mountain, they say, oh my goodness, look, Table Mountain has got a tablecloth on it. <laughs> anyway, there's another folk story, that of the first inhabitants of South Africa, the San or the Khoi people. They said this cloud cover over the mountain was actually Kachen's Karos. Kachen? That was the praying mantis god that they believed lived in a cave on the mountain. And once every blue moon, or when the wind blew, blew he would go into his cave, grab a karos. Now a karos, that is the skin of an animal. And apparently it was a white skin. He would drag this white skin out of his cave and then he would cover the mountain with this carros. And then he would kill all fires that might occur on Table Mountain with the moisture. Now you would ask me, Catherine Margaret Kruger, how do you get to the name Devil's Peak or Devil's Peak? Now the first time that it was actually mentioned Devil's Peak or Devil's Peak, was by the Venetian cartographer in the 1500s. His name was Fra Mauro. He written on the map Cabo di Diablo, the Cape of Devils. Now, heaven knows why he named it the Cape of Devils, probably because of the stormy weather and all the ships that went shipwrecked here in the south. But when the Dutch arrived here, they first named this mountain the Windberg, the mountain of wind. Now, that is easy to understand. When the English arrived here, they said, no, it's Charles Mountain. But then there was also some Dutch people that named it Doofie's Peak. Doofie in Dutch, or Doofie, that means dove. So, Dove Mountain or Dove Peak. It was mistranslated by the English for dove in, in Dutch is doof and devil 
in Dutch is duvel. So the English heard duvel, duvel. Never knows. And they said, okay, then it's devil's peak. But the more romantic story where this mountain got its name was actually then of an hunks <laughs> and the devil. Let me tell you the story. Now let's get to the story of the devil and Van Hunks. You see, Van Hunks was an old Dutch sailor, or not really a sailor, I would say a pirate, that was sick and tired of the ocean and really want uh, to settle down. And he came down to the Cape of Good Hope. He had built him a small little cottage underneath this mountain and he got himself a wife. Now, she was uh, a wife that you couldn't handle without gloves. You see, she was, she had a sharp tongue. <laughs> and old Van Hunks, he really loved smoking. So he would smoke in the house. Arr, arr, arr. That was my best pirate kind of uh, laugh eh? or, or noise. Har, har, har. So, Phoenix, then to avoid his wife's sharp tongue, because she would always tell him, Phoenix, come out of the house, go to the berg and go roken daar. Phoenix, please get out of the house and go and smoke up on the mountain. So that's exactly what old Van Hunks did. He went up the mountain and each day he went Arr, arr, arr. Oh, what mooi, the schone kaap. How beautiful is this, this cape of good hope. And one day, he actually also walked up there and, you know, sick and tired of his, his wife yapping, yapping, yapping about his smoking in the house. And on his favorite spot, he saw a very funny figure sitting there on his spot. It was a guy with a black hat. You couldn't see his eyes. He had a black coat on. Couldn't see his body. And he was also sitting there with a pipe, but without a empty pipe and the strange figure said Dag van Hunks <laughs> immediately van Hunks thought oh my goodness gracious how does this guy know my name but without being impolite he said um, good day sir and this dark figure said Oh, can you spare me a little bit of tobacco for my pipe? <laughs> and Van Hunks said, Yeah, sure, not a problem. He went and he sat down next to this figure, or this man, and he started boasting about how much he <laughs> as Van Hunk is going to actually smoke. He filled his pipe, and said he was one of the only men in this world that he knew that could inhale the smoke and keep it there until his lungs explodes. And then this dark figure said to him, Oh, but Van Hunks, I can also do the same. I can inhale the smoke and I will keep it in my lungs and I will blow it out again. And I can smoke and smoke for days. So Van Hunk said, Now, I think I've got myself a challenge here. And he and this man started smoking. They, they piled up tobacco in between them. And then they just loaded, or do you say load your pipe? Or stuff your pipe with the tobacco? And they smoked. And smoked. And they blew the smoke in those round little cloud forms. And it went up the mountain and it covered the mountain, all the smoke. They didn't smoke for one day. No, they smoked 
for a few days. Even the locals looked up to the mountain. They said, oh my goodness, what is going on? The whole mountain is covered with smoke. At last, after a few days, Van Hunks was tired of smoking and he had a look at his friend next to him and he was also tired and his hat sat a little bit skew and Van Hunk could see this guy is tired and what did he see? A small horn sticking out underneath the hat and Van Hunks knew he was competing against the devil at that stage the cloud cover or the smoke came over with a big lightning lightning bolt <laughs> struck Van Hunks he vanished into thin air and the only thing that was left was a burnt spot on the mountain where Van Hunks sat and each time when the southeasterly wind or the Cape Doctor blows over Devil's Peak, the local people say, look, Van Hunks and the Devil is still competing who can smoke the most. <laughs> So next time when Cape Town and Table Mountain and Devil's Peak is covered with clouds, smoke, look up and say, Van Hunks and the Devil is smoking. And that's why this peak was named Devil's Peak or Devil's Peak. These days it's very popular to hike up Devil's Peak. Once you're on the top, you've got stunning views of Cape Town, of Table Mountain, of Signal Hill, of Lion's Head and Robben Island. So on your way up, you can see the Cape Fainbos, as well as the indigenous forest of silver leaf trees. You would see some eland. Now eland is our biggest antelope species here in South Africa, as well as zebras, and rock hybrids or dasis as we call them and then you will see some aliens <laughs> yeah right aliens yes aliens imagine you were called an alien just because you you actually escaped a zoo that's exactly what happened in 1936 two himalayan goats escaped the zoo of Grote Skier and they multiplied on this hill and in this area they were in 1976 they were already run about 600 goats roaming in this area unfortunately they had to cull them because they were you know threatening the very very sensitive Cape Fainbos plant species that grow in this area. But they couldn't cull them all. And maybe you can still see some aliens on the mountain. Now, history lovers, this was then the story behind the history of Van Hunks. Er, er, er. And Devil's Pea. Join me on my next video, He's Storing Around. Hit subscribe, like and share. See you next time. Bay and picking up moisture. <laughs> Cartographer 
They wrote it on a map. Doofies, come on, try not to fight after me, car. The the Diablo, the Capo Diablo, Cap Diab, Capo Diablo, Cap, Cabo di Diablo, Capo di Diablo, Cabo, Cabo di Diablo. It was a Himalayan, 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 Himalayan. Goats. Subscribe, like, and share. Get yourself a cup of coffee and coffee. Uh, let's start his storing around. Oh. <laughs> mm. Story. Mm.